Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be swatching the limited edition Mentos collaboration with Sally Hansen Instadry. This is a very affordable line if you've never tried Sally Hansen. They are one of my faves from the drugstore. Specifically, the Instadry line comes in this kind of interesting triangle bottle. Definitely really interesting as far as my collection is concerned and um, they boast a quicker drying formula. And this is an adorable spring collection in collaboration with Mentos. In the past, the brand has collaborated with a couple of different, I think, candy companies, Jelly Belly and another one, um, and this time Mentos. I was kind of surprised with this collaboration. But we have a lot of really beautiful, bright spring shades here and two cute glitters. So we're gonna go ahead and get into live application. I purchased the collection in store at Walgreens. They also released recently a prismatic prismatic something collection. I have snagged up about half of that collection so I can review that one for you as well. But today we're just going to be looking at this one. So I'm still kind of checking to make sure that the stream is going live and then we'll be able to go ahead and start here in just a moment. Um, if you hear any noise today, we have plumbers uh, walking around, we have electricians, so there's a little extra <laughs> bumps and um, noises that are gonna take place, but in any case, oh great, hi Kirsten and Chantel, great, so we are live. So like I said, we're gonna go ahead and swatch this adorable eight piece limited edition Mentos collection. I was super duper fan of all of the formulas here and that squishy crelly with the blue glitters looks is, is as cute in person as it looks there. Couldn't get that out. So all of those are creams except for on the two corners of course have glitters and then that bright, um, very strong pigmented fuchsia has some shimmer in it. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. This is a limited edition collection. So if you are interested in purchasing it, you're probably gonna wanna do track them down sooner than later. Um, I happened to find the display um, on an end cap in Walgreens and it was like full, like just barely put out, but I know that some people are having trouble finding them. So just check a few Walgreens in your area and I wish you lots and lots of luck. It's kind of like a fun treasure hunting experience with some of these drugstore brands to see if you can find the polishes that are being released and um, you can make buddies on the internet. You guys can mule polishes for each other. That's a super fun thing as well. So I'm starting out with the pink. The creams are all beautiful, bright colors for spring. I was very pleased with the formulations. They're none of them one coaters, the creams, um, but they are gonna all get pretty streak free and opaque at um, two coats. And the payoff is great. They're really bright and joyful colors. So this first one is called Confection Perfection. And this is just the plain pink color. So now none of these shades are really going to cry out to you, this is the only polish you've ever seen in this formula, except for maybe this, I think what this, they're trying to um, be like their Mento kind of looking um, color. It is really cute and fun. We'll get there. But this is probably the only really unique looking thing out of the bunch. But when I purchased these, um, they're a good price point. For the drugstore, I think they're like $5.50 or something. And when I, sorry, there's a little bit of noise like I explained before, sorry about that. When I went to go pick these up, they were having a sale buy two, get one free. So I snagged all eight plus one of the prismatic polishes at that time. I didn't know that that's what I was buying, but it's a really pretty shimmery pinky purple. And, um, I got, uh, what, three of them for free. So it was a pretty good deal. Um, this next one I'm swatching is Fuchsia Fizz. I skipped the, um, glitter topper because it is cutie fruity 
and comes next alphabetically, but I skipped it because I want to top it over a few things in the collection. So this is Fuchsia Fizz and is a one coater. This goes on like really thick. That image is two coats and it was like a lot. So you really don't need to go for more than just the one coat, which makes it really easy and fun. Um, quick drying. So hi guys, hi everybody for stopping in. Tika, Sarah, Bite Size, Jojo, Quila, Iga's here. Awesome, Michelle, yay, and Birdie's here. George, fantastic. So we're swatching through the limited edition Mentos and Sally Hansen Insta Dry collaboration. Next, we're moving on to this grass green. Mint to be is its name, and I'm sure you probably have a shade like this. So this collection is gonna be for you if you are like a collector, if um, Mentos is just really your jam. It's definitely on the cute side. Um, but as I was swatching it, I thought to myself, this polish looks really similar to other um, Sally Hansen collabs. So like I was saying, there's nothing here that you are just gonna like find a super singular formula, except for maybe um, the fresh maker as far as drugstore is concerned. Next up we have Orange You A Peach, and this is just a really bright, lots of white uh, peachy orange. And as you can see, all the creams are either one to two coaters. That green is practically a one coater. I don't think you need two coats on that. Um, the lighter creams are a little streaky on one coat, but um, look nice at the two coats. Sorry, I got I got a little fuzz on my nail and it'll bug me, so I gotta get it off there. So there's one coat of those four shades. You hardly ever get the special editions. I'm sorry, George. You're gonna have to make a buddy that can send you what you think is cute. So here is, <laughs> that is not what's in the first tile. I should have thought ahead that I was going to swatch the topper next. I put the topper in that first tile, um, but the orange is what's under that topper. So that shows you what everything looks like at two coats. Let me go ahead and swatch another. So we did do a little test the other day. Um, Thanks to, I can't remember who was asking me, um, how similar the dry time is between Expressi, the uh, Espressi line and the Sally Hansen Insta Dries. And we decided through our research and development that the Espressis actually dry a little bit faster than these Insta Dries um, do. They weren't, the Espressis were dry in about one minute and these ones needed a little bit longer. But um, if you can get away with just one coat, like on this green, for example, I mean, it's probably been a minute since I put that on. Let's just test it. Pretty good. I, I made a little bit of nail mark in there, as you can see. So it's not totally dry at one minute, but you know, it possibly dries a little faster than others. And the price point is better, so that's nice. Uh, Tika and Birdie are going to meet up and go hunting for awesome drugstore treasure hunting <laughs> since they decided that they both live in the same place. Oh, man. So, second coat of mint to be. I don't think that this polish looks minty at all, but hey, it's a fun name for a polish. It's very, very grassy spring green, very yellow toned. So then second coat of Orange You A Peach. Orange You A Peach. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. We are getting things situated around at my house. All the granite got put in yesterday, um, but we've had the water turned off since yesterday, so they are hooking everything back up. Everything's getting ship shape, and I'm just so excited. All right, so these need to dry a little bit and then we can put the topper on. But um, let me pull this picture up so you can see. So the glitter, admittedly, not, not a ton comes out um, with this one, but it feels pretty standard for me for drugstore. And I did think it was really cute. So it basically, it has, you know, all the colors of the collection pretty much with the exception of that green. So we've got pink, orange, yellow, blue, and um, it's really cute. So it's gonna look great over everything. I put it over the orange, but you know, put it over whatever you want. 
I'll do a, one coat of Cutie Fruity. It's called Cutie Fruity. Um, if there's specific like glitter colors you're hoping to get out, you might have to fish for them a little bit. So here it is over the pink. So that's about what came out on one pass. It's decent and it's cute. And if you don't have like a very springy glitter, you might really like this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take these off and we will swatch the second half of the collection. So I got notification today that China Glaze Spring and the Parisian Color Club collection are in my mailbox. So I'm gonna go snag them when I head out there to go get Honor off the bus. So do you guys wanna see Color Club first or do you wanna see China Glaze first? I'm betting that Color Club will have the better formula. Color Club also seems to, uh, the Color Club collection only has six colors and the Parisian, or yeah, and the China Glaze has eight. And it looks like the Color Club is more of like a well-rounded rainbow where the China Glaze, I think, it feels like it rests more on the upper half of the rainbow. I'm, I can't remember for sure. But what do you guys want to see? And we'll do that tomorrow. And don't forget, you guys, in just a few days, we get to make some polish together. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the fourth Saturday of every month is our mix along. And I have Sarah working on a magnet for us for our merch. Um, and don't forget, all of you silver and gold members, you get that magnet for free. No need to purchase it with your order. I include it for free. Um, it's one of your perks of the membership. But she is working on a Mixin' Like a Vixen magnet, and I'm so, so excited. Sarah is so amazing. She's so, so great with her digital art. Okay, I'm going to pop this up here. And here's the second half, and they look so cute together. Don't they look fresh? This looks very spring-summer transitional. That blue, by the way, is fantastic. So we already swatched the orange. So I guess I didn't need to take off one of my nails because I'm only swatching three more. So first up, the blue. And no, the topper can't be worn alone, in my opinion. It is too um, base heavy. So the blue is called... I'll tell you in just one second, but it is a one coater and it is really popping. This color is fantastic. It's called Peppermint Dandy. I got it in my cuticle a little bit. One second. This one is maybe slightly less coverage than the green, but you can get the one coat and done if you're careful. Hmm. My computer is yelling at me. Okay. So we have Color Club, Color Club, Color Club, China Glaze, Color Club. It looks like Color Club is winning. Are you guys over trying to glaze? <laughs> Hi, Bianca. Bianca, tomorrow do you want to see the Color Club collection, the Parisian one, or do you want to see the China Glaze Spring Summer collection? Okay, so next we're going to swatch the, I guess, Mento-looking color out of the collection, apparently. Um, this is called The Fresh Maker. Although Mentos do come in some fun shades in their non-minty sense. Okay, so as you can see, I got one glitter out. It's kind of, the formula is gelatinous enough that, and the glitters are sparse enough that it's a little hard to get the glitters out, but I flipped the brush over and I got a few more. So I liked it. I, on the first coat, I thought, mm, I don't know, maybe this is too sheer, but what it does, which is something that I really love about ghosty kind of Krellies, where they're not too firm in their white opacity, is you're getting that really lovely layering and it just looks so squishy and I love it. So I did like this one. If you're gonna pick up any, probably snag this one and maybe like one other one that is just your jam as far as the color is concerned. Quila, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having my back. I had actually totally forgotten about that. Oh man, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess I just put it behind me because if I'm staying angry, then I will just be angry about everything. 
Okay, so I loved this yellow. As you can see, it's like running all up in my cuticles, but I loved it because it is so lemony, bright lemon tart, and it gets great at two coats. Look at that coverage at one. This one was one of my faves out of the whole collection. So if you spot this yellow and you like yellow on you, get it. I know a lot of people tell me all the time, I don't wear yellow polish because it doesn't look good on me. You guys who've been with me for a while know that I think nail polish is about expressing how you feel that day. And not every color is going to be like your color, you winter, spring, summer, fall, whatever color you are. I think I'm a winter. Um, anyway, <laughs> I think I was, I think that I went to a Mary Kay party and I was sorted. I was sorted in my color hat when I was like nine years old or something with my mom. Anyway, I think I'm on the camp believe, who believes that you should wear whatever color you're feeling, no matter what. No, Quila, cut it out. Hi, Nikki! Um, the yellow, the yellow and the blue were my faves. And then I think that the Fresh Maker is the, like, the notable piece out of the collection that just is different for the brand, so. Probably these three actually on my nails right now are the three that I would recommend. So we have Peppermint Dandy, The Fresh Maker, and You're the Zest. That's of course just my opinion. I'm sure you have a million pinks like this. You probably have a couple pinks even like this shimmery one. I'm sure unless you don't go for, oh, ooh, that green wants to fade into the background. Unless you don't really go for greens that are um, this springy grassy green, you probably have a bunch like that. Point being, they're all great but you probably have something like them in your collection. And these three here were my personal favorites. So the second coat of Peppermint Dandy. Nikki and Catherine, what do you guys think? What do you wanna to see tomorrow? Color Club or China Glaze? What are we in the mood for? Color Club has just been hitting it out of the park consistently. And I'm such a fan of that. These three look so good together, huh, Iga? Yes. You are so right. So second coat of the Fresh Maker. I probably won't take the time and keep you here to show you three coats of the Fresh Maker, but just look at the image and you'll see what I'm talking about and see how it's building up and it's making that um, kind of frosted donut look under there where you've got the glitters underneath and the glitters on the top. And I just, I just love that look. I love it. So, um, reference the photo for how this looks at three coats. This is two coats. And then let's do a second coat of You're the Zest. Catherine says Color Club. Michelle says Color Club. All right, I think we might need to do Color Club. I'm surprised. I thought you guys were going to be like, I've been waiting forever for the China Glaze. Bite Size, you're a fall. That's fun. What colors look best for fall? Nikki says yellow is my favorite color, but I rarely, rarely wear yellow polishes. I love yellow too. Yellow is my second favorite color. And this one is just so bright, you guys. And I was super surprised with how nice it gets at two coats. The formulation on this one is beast mode, is what I'm trying to tell you. I do need to touch on the fact that the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Brush is not my fave. And they almost all have, see these, this little hair that's sticking out? And when you have, like every brand's brushes will have, you know, a brush here or there that's gonna have a little thing sticking out. But specifically with this brush, because it's a flat, straight razor edge, the little hairs are so much harder for me to manage with this brush. And almost every single one in this batch that I got had a stray hair. So, was not my fave. Darker purples and dark blue, that sounds so nice. Awesome. China Glaze doesn't come to my town anymore, so either way I'd have to buy online. Well, Jojo, you can get China Glaze very cost effectively. I actually purchased a set both from polishpick.com and when that was not moving because of all the COVID craziness at USPS, I purchased another set for giveaway at headtotoebeauty.com. Both are super cost effective. You're out of the color club loop right now, huh, Nikki? Bite says, says I just want lots of colors. You still want that background? Aw. Uh, Birdie, I didn't remember you ever requesting that. I can I can probably try to figure that out. Maybe I'll ask Sarah to help me with that because she creates wallpapers all the time and puts it on her Instagram. So maybe I'll ask her how to do that. 
You would want to see China Glaze, but you do love Color Club. Hi, Tammy. Oh, I'm so glad, Tammy. I hope you enjoy those. Bye, Catherine. Thanks for stopping by. We are actually going to say so long. This is the end of the video. So let me pop back up the whole thing again so you can see everything at a glance. And that's going to be it for today. So thanks, you guys, for your feedback. We'll definitely do Color Club tomorrow if, in fact, the collection is in my mailbox. Hopefully, I'm not getting some random um, notification that's not correct. And uh, we will swatch those. I'm so excited. You cut those little hairs off, Bianca. Yeah, good call. Good call, girl. I need to get one of those little tiny, the little teeny tiny sewing scissors and have it close by. Oh, great product to sell. Oh, well... I don't know that I have any other photos besides this one that you guys would find that interesting. But um, yeah, it worked out really well for my background. Nikki, I will see you next time. Vicki, thanks for weighing in. George, I will see you on Saturday. I'm super excited for that too. And I will see the rest of you hopefully tomorrow for a color club. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Um, I hope you're doing something cozy and warm tonight. And... Take care. Take care of your cute little selves. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, guys. Look at this.